I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to Game Grumps. Um, as you can see, I am on this uh, staircase. This is the show Game Grumps. Um, on the last episode, I didn't. I, I appeared to not know where I was going. Do you like Game Grumps? Y yes. You're watching it. I'm sorry, go on. I'm in it, actually. You're in it. I was I was addressing the lovelies. You may have noticed, Dan, yes. that everybody is a-sleepin'. Yeah, they're little sleepy sheepies. Everybody's having a little naps. That's because I think I, after I beat the witch, mm -hmm. uh, it go it turns to night. Oh. Uh, so everybody's a-sleepin'. Oh, I remember the witch. Yeah. Yeah, the barnacle witch. This is the first of, uh, a new playthrough week for us. Yeah. It's either the witch or the, um... The beast that was in the church, the one that looked like Falcor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. So I have to go over here. That's the that's the solution to my problem. But there's all kinds of little items in here, so I'm gonna get those. Yeah, learn some Madman's knowledge. Don't want to wake him up. <laughs> the Madman's knowledge is actually like crazy shit. Like, cheese talks to you. <laughs> Raisins. <laughs> Good. I'll write this on a scroll and place it away. Thank you. I want to I want to attack this guy. Do you but think he's sleeping. Should? Yeah, but. He looks so peaceful. He's got good experience. Maybe he'll stay peaceful after you take a swing at him. Nope. Nah, he's not gonna stay peaceful. He's gonna attack me with that giant axe. Yo. Oh god. <laughs> Damn. He's like in a he's like in a rock group because he has a big axe, right? <laughs> okay. 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 He's yes. like, oh, shit. I, I do. Don't get it. <laughs> shit. Do you not. Do you not. <laughs> Should I explain it? Explain the joke. I got it. I don't. I always thought axe was a cool thing to call a guitar. Yeah, me too. That's why I called it that. Fuck, it's my fucking axe, baby. Do you remember, um... Do you remember Dexter's Lab? Did you ever watch that? Was that after your time? Dexter's Laboratory? Yeah. I, I did watch it a little bit, but I was a, I was a touch old. Do you remember the Super Friends? No. It was like, uh... Was it the Justice Friends? Yeah, it was Justice Friends. Super Friends is real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it was like, fake Avengers. It no. had like had like a Thor parody and like a Hulk parody called the in, in Indomitable Crunk or something Indubitable Crunk or something like that. No shit. I don't remember, but it was really funny. And the Thor guy was cool because he had an axe, and it was an axe because he was a rocker. Oh, was like I a, he, get he was it. Like a metalhead. Was that like the Powerpuff Girl time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of Gendy cartoons. Yeah. Gendy Tartakovsky. I don't know what that means. That's the guy that made Powerpuff Girls. Unclear. And Still. also, I believe, Dexter's Lab. Wow. Yeah, that's why they look the same. Yeah, he has a very unique style. Kind of Scott Pilgrimy, actually. You think so? Well, well the, well, the Scott Pilgrimy is very Gendy Tartakovsky. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, Scott Pilgrim, the, the comic, not the, um, not the movie. The film? Not, the, not Michael it really, Sarah. It really looked like Michael Sarah's face. <laughs> In Dexter's lab. Hi, I'm. Oh gosh, I'm so awkwardly. Mm, I'm so <laughs> do you, cute. Do you remember in this an guy? Awkward way. This guy? Yeah. Brienne of Tarth. <laughs> I. Do, who is it? He's a dude. He uh. He was like praying, and he was like. Oh uh, right, let's right. Think let's think of something to discuss. Mm, <laughs> newspapers are weird. <laughs> We've been dating a long time. Let's think of something to talk about. <laughs> yeah. These apples are delicious. How come you never want to see the movies that I want to see? Why do you never look at me during? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's your favorite, Dan. <laughs> it's my your favorite thing to say. It's the best. It is one of the funniest. I need to bust that out on, on Susie sometime. <laughs> just like, we'll just be like, like silently in the car or something, like driving somewhere, you know? But you have to say it like with a slight lilt of like about to cry in your voice. <laughs> like, why do you never look at me during? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I'm so gonna do that. Oh boy, what is this guy talking about? I don't. It doesn't matter. It is really there anything doesn't. to be gained from him? Yeah, like sometimes when you talk to people, it activates stuff. Ah! <laughs> Why won't he shut You're up? So boring. <laughs> uh, yeah, like sometimes when you talk to people, it like activates some stuff. Fair enough. Yeah, me See, too. Yeah. Pleasure was all mine, I guess. Yeah, it was totally mine. On we go. Remember how I, I reached for the sky and cried out for <laughs> your death? Yeah, it's totally worth it. Oh god, you're too interesting! <laughs> <laughs> My brain can't take all the details that I'm super interested in! The password. You're the old blood. Whoa, dude, when did we learn that? Oh, a long time ago. Cool. Oh, hey. Wow, that guy watching the door. Already dead. Yeah, is he? <laughs> you think so? 
I don't know. Seems pretty presumptuous, game. Yeah, maybe he's just not interested in what you're trying to say. Yeah. Let's pick four or five new subjects. He kind of looks like he's like, he's like, eh? You know what I'm talking about? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you about the forties, the sixteen forties. Sixteen. Back in my day, we did arts and farts and crafts. <laughs> What? It's from fucking Wet Hot American Summer. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Guys, wait up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking adore that movie. Yeah, I like it too. I'm glad. I, I was really happy you liked it. Dude, I mean, fucking Stella. They're the best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, um... Was the balding one in it? David Wayne? Yeah. He directed it. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Stella was very interesting. Because... <clears throat> Like, I don't know if this is interesting to people, but like in comedy writing. Okay, okay. <laughs> you didn't throw up your hands like, oh, <laughs> Jesus! Tell me more! No, go ahead. No, in, in comedy writing, like comedy writing 101, one of the first things they teach you is that um, you, you want to have either insane people in a normal world, like, uh, I guess Tenacious D would be an example. Or normal people in an insane world, like Flight of the Concords, mm -hmm. um, and it's like the rubbing up against each other and like the problems those cause. That's where the humor is. So it's very rare you'll have like crazy people in a crazy world, and that's what Stella was, and that's why it was like so experimental, you know, like because um, it broke like one of those like cardinal quote unquote rules of comedy. Uh huh. Because uh, like they're weird, and then like they'll be like. You know, a guy will be depressed, and then he'll show up at a girl's door, and it's like raining on his head, but they're indoors, you know, like that kind of shit. And that that's why I like that show, man. It, it really had, like, I loved its balls. You know, I never actually watched the show, Stella. I've only ever seen their, like, internet shorts. Right, right. Like, pizza. I have never seen that. You've never seen pizza? No, let's look at it immediately. Oh after my this is god, over. dude. It's <laughs> like one of my favorite all time videos. It better not be like pizza time. No, 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 no. Okay. It's it's Good. super fun. It's I mean I'm still it's, scarred from pizza oh time. God. Oh, <laughs> you seem like a like a happy Harry. Oh, oh god geez. damn it. There we go. Boy, he brings that fucking weapon down with authority. It's okay. Authority? Like he's oh. Thor? Oh. Oh. Yeah, Stella Pizza, like... I feel like that defined my sense of humor for Whoa. like, like a good, good three years. Holy shit. Yeah. That's and, they, awesome. and their other internet bits are great too, but like that one in particular is just like... It's an amazing feeling when you find something like that, that you connect with so immediately that you're like, Yes, this, please, forever. Yeah. That That's honestly how I felt the first time I saw Play to the Concords. Really? Well, yeah, cause like... I didn't know you were so into them. I had been doing quote-unquote serious music for a long time, and that kind of hit like a dead end, and uh... But I, I thought it was great, Dan. Thank you. I, I like the band, it's just like we couldn't keep going. Um, and uh... I don't know, I just felt really lost and not sure what to do. Um, so I started taking those comedy classes at UCB, and then... I guess that must have been like 2007 or eight. That's when I saw Flight of the Concords, and I was like, oh my god, I can, like, combine these two things. Like, because up, up until that point, like, I'd seen comedy music, but, like, the music wasn't good. Yeah. Or, or I'd seen comedy music that, that, like, the music was good, but it wasn't funny. Uh -huh. But they were the first that, like, just totally got it right. Huh. I was like, holy shit. It's fascinating. Yeah. I, I had no idea that was the catalyst. That was it. And, I mean, Lonely Island, too, which was around the same time. Um... Where I was like, Jesus. And Tenacious D for the longest time. Like, it's just, there's very few examples, but like, they're all like so superior to, um, their peers, I guess, in a lot of ways. Yeah, Tenacious D is pretty good. They're fucking unbelievable. Huh? I would love to meet Jack Black someday. Or Kyle Gass. Um, less so Kyle Gass. No, kidding. he's fucking I'm just, awesome. I'm just he's amazing. Like, their whole band, uh, John. Shit, I can't remember his name. It's Kon Konevsky or Konievsky, something like that. There's a third Tenacious D member. Well, they're, they're backing band. Um, um they're for their live show. Did. Those guys are fucking unreal. Like that that dude, um, whose name I sadly can't remember at the moment is Kaskione. I'll I'll look it up. He's he's such a good guitar player. John Malkovich. That's the one. I like John Malkovich. Yeah, me too. 
Really? Do you? <laughs> yeah, I was just lying. Not as a guitar player, but yeah, he's a talented actor. Oh yeah, I guess he is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's what he does. <laughs> oh man, you and I, man, we have a rapport. Oh yeah, we <laughs> we have a thing. We're in a band. It's true. Ain't that some shit? I never really thought about that. It is weird. It is the. It is not the first thing I think of when I think of us hanging out. Yeah. But we did start a again. band. Yeah, Brian too. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I guess when right. you're you're ninety percent of something, someone has to do that other ten percent. Yeah. I know what you mean. Wait, creepy runner guy really didn't fucking make a break for it that time. Well, it's because I fucking saw him and went for him. He was just like, oh, oh no. He just ganked his shit. <laughs> yeah. E immediately. Boy, and I, he, you can quote me on that. Yeah. E he, immediately in quotation marks. Is he still like shaking around? Aaron Aaron no. Hansen, 2015. <laughs> Immediately, and then you can put that in another quote mm -hmm. after that. And then you could put that quote in the bank. There you go. Next time on Game Rooms. Next time on Game Rooms. Bye for now. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna, Hello, sir. I'm gonna kill this guy with the shield. Watch this. I'd like to interest you in talking about Jesus. 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 He's dead. Yeah, well, maybe he's talking to Jesus now. It's Jesus in the sky. I can't see the sky. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's over no, there. We'll just it's pretend over, you said Jesus in the that, sky. That little, that little. <laughs> Jesus in the <this> sky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to see Stella Pizza. Yeah, I was, I'm looking it up right now. How long is it? Oh, uh, it's like three minutes. 30, 30 minutes. Stella Pizza. I want to dip my balls in it. Oh, classic. 